Hey guys, I'm JT from Max Inc. Today I'm going to show you our new headlight grills. Together with the headlight grills, I've got one or two other items that's going to match that. This is something we've been working on for a couple of months. We wanted it to be absolutely perfect. They've been going backwards and forwards and we finally got the formula. It is perfect. Headlight grill just adds that extra uniqueness to your bike. These are going to fit the seven inch Harley Davidson headlights and they're going to fit your Jeep as well. So normally a grill is made of either steel or mesh, it can bend, it can rust, not this. This is machined from a billet of aluminium. Sturdy, strong, full aluminium construction, not gonna fade, not gonna rust. There's currently about 20 different designs, if not more. Keep watching the video till the end, uh, there's gonna be a slideshow where I show you all the designs currently available. Some of them are in full black, some of them are this cool edging where you see the raw aluminium underneath. And they also come with this uh, glass logo which you're just going to stick on. We might make other logos available as well depending on demand. But these are super cool, so many designs. Gives you that extra touch of uniqueness, they just look great. So if you've got a Harley Davidson with one of these for example, you're going to remove the retaining ring. You're going to fit the bezel, you're going to put it back and you're done. It's three screws, it's really, really easy. So to match this, we've also launched our own retaining ring, which is this here. Yours might have been damaged or it's just rusted or you just want a new one. There we go. So this is going to fit perfectly with your headlight grill. If you want to fit an LED daymaker, we now make our own as well. You're going to fit your LED daymaker in there. It comes with a retaining ring. You fit your headlight grill, pop it in and you're done really easy in fact i've got a 2011 street light here i'm going to show you how easy it is to fit we've got the original headlight on the bike i'm going to quickly pop it in and just show you how easy it is let's head over to the bike and let's have a look Okay guys, here we are with our 2011 street light. We're gonna fit one of the bezels, or one of the headlight grills rather. Very easy, so the first thing you need to do is remove this outer retaining ring. There's a Phillips screw at the bottom with a little nut on the other side. Make sure you hold that so you don't lose it. So let's start by removing this. All right, remove the screw. That's those two. Right, now that the screw's off, we're just going to gently pry this open. It's got a little spring clip on the top, so you want to take it out from the bottom first and then towards the top, just like that. Now that you got that off, you got one more retaining ring, little Phillips screw underneath there, which we're going to remove. Make sure you don't lose that. All right, and then this is going to come off. Okay, now that you've removed both the bezels, we can now remove the retaining ring. You've got three screws, one at the top, one on the left side here, and one just underneath here. Um, they've got a specific position that they stay on, so make sure you remember that. Three little retaining screws, we're going to start by removing those. Start with this one here. Top. Right, and bottom here. Right, now be careful because at this stage your headlight will be loose. Let me just pop that one side. Make sure your headlight isn't just gonna fall out, that it's still in place. Now we're gonna grab the grill, put it into the bezel, and start popping it back. Let me show you how we do that. All I'm gonna do is grab my Max Ink headlight grill. I'm gonna push it in my bezel. Here we go. And we're just gonna put it back, make sure it lines up. Okay, and then we're gonna straighten it. But before we do that, I just need to nip it in the top here. Just quickly nip there and there. And down here. Right, now we can line it up. Make sure it's straight. Here we go. And now we're going to tighten it down. Okay. 
At this point, you are basically done. All you're going to put back is the two retaining rings and you're done. So let's quickly put those back and see what it looks like. And that's it guys, as easy as that. So to check out all of these grills and our latest products for the Americas and Europe, check out maxinkmoto.com and for South Africa, check out maxinc.co.za. See you next time.